Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to day two of the beginning of a month, actually, of devotional videos that will be focusing on crossroads. We're at a crossroads as a church right now, as uh, Pastor Diana has come back from sabbatical, as I am preparing later on in July to go on my own sabbatical, as we are starting to come back for um, on-campus worship and on-campus meetings. And as we are going through the process of renovation, all of this is going on at the same time. And it creates um, a lot of excitement, but also perhaps a little bit of unsettling. And when unsettling comes into our lives, sometimes fear is present as well. And so today I wanna to talk about facing fear and uh, we're going to do that by looking at a book of the Bible many of us have probably not read before. Um, it is one of the minor prophets, minor meaning uh, not lacking importance, but rather smaller in size um, in terms of the, the length of the writing. And so we're going to be looking at uh, the prophet Habakkuk. Uh, which the book only is three chapters long. And as is the case in most of the prophetic writings, uh, the prophet is uh, declaring God's truth. Um, so it is not foretelling as much as it is forth telling. It is telling the people the way things are, where there has been a falling off um, in terms of being on track with God and then um, the need for repentance and what the consequences are going to be if people don't repent. And then always in the prophets, we hear a word of hope. Um, and so this is uh, the last, the final verses of the third chapter, the last chapter of the book of Habakkuk. And listen to these words and see what God may be saying to you through them. Though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vine, Though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and makes me tread upon the heights." You know, when things happen that kind of are unsettling to us, it could be a health concern, it could be financial, it could be um, just something that is different and we're feeling that unsettling in us, um, we can do a couple of things and, and that we know the, the chemistry of our brains, the fight and flight syndrome, um, but also there is a thing um, I think that this scripture calls us to, is to have trust, trust in God. And um, uh, and it says here that all these things may be going on and yet I will rejoice in the God who gives me strength. This is what God wants to do in our lives, to give us strength to face our fears, uh, to have this time of knowing that we are not alone, that God is with us and God will help us to make our path straight. Um, and to take those steps that may be uncomfortable for us. Now, some of you know that um, I'm going to be hopefully leading a pilgrimage uh, next year in May of 2022 to the Holy Land, Jerusalem and Palestine, or Israel and Palestine. And during that time, um, I'm thinking about the, the previous pilgrimages I've done. I've done three. And I remember specifically one of them being um, in the Judean wilderness. And, and for those of you who will go to Jerusalem, the Judean wilderness truly is wilderness. It's lots of rock. It's lots of hills and valleys and, um, and dust and just not much growth there whatsoever. But I remember seeing deers that were up on those hills. And it, it was like, that was the most scary place I'd ever seen. And yet they were just traveling like it was nothing. And um, and so this is what Habakkuk is looking at too, that that God will give our, make our feet, give us strength to make our feet like the feet of the deer and that we might tread on the heights. We might go to those places that are scary, that may be um, dangerous in some ways. 
but knowing that God is going with us and giving us the courage and the strength to face those fears. So today, my prayer for you and for me is that we will um, not, not hide, not fight, but flow through that with God and with faith and rejoice in the God who gives us strength. May it be so in your life and in mine. Amen and amen. Amen.